Mexico may send the drug kingpin known as El Chapo to the United States. He was captured Friday about the same time that we learned of an interview that he granted to the actor Sean Penn. Penn said today he has nothing to hide about his relationship with Joaquin Guzman, whose nickname is Spanish for Shorty. Manuel Bajorcas has new video of the capture, which came six months after Guzman escaped from a Mexican prison. These dramatic images capture the moment Mexican Marines stormed a home in Sinaloa, where notorious drug kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was hiding. Five of his men were killed during the shootout, but El Chapo managed to escape through a set of intricate tunnels. Authorities were later tipped off that he was in a stolen car and arrested him. Mexican officials say it was this Rolling Stone interview that helped lead them to the elusive kingpin. Actor Sean Penn met secretly with El Chapo last October in a remote mountain location, a meeting set up by Mexican actress Kate Del Castillo, who had apparently been in touch with the drug lord while he was on the run. These images, which are part of a Mexican intelligence file, show Penn and Del Castillo arriving at a Mexican airport and greeting the men who would ferry the two to Guzman. In the interview, Guzman brags to Penn about being the world's leading drug supplier. Bueno, es una realidad. He tells Penn that it's a reality that drugs destroy. Where I grew up, there was no other way, and there still isn't a way to survive. El Chapo had been on the run for six months after escaping from this maximum security prison through an elaborate set of underground tunnels found just beneath his cell. He's now being held in the same prison, this time surrounded by military tanks. Mexican officials are working to extradite him to the U.S., where Guzman faces murder and drug trafficking charges in at least six states. Juan Miguel Edmondson is a former special prosecutor for Interpol in Latin America. Is there a chance we'll see El Chapo escape again? There's more than all the eyes of the world put on him, therefore I don't think so. A Mexican official said today the extradition process could take a year or more. Here at the prison, authorities have not revealed exactly where they are holding Guzman, but Scott, they have indicated they are moving him from cell to cell frequently to prevent another one of his infamous underground escapes. Manuel Bajorcas reporting for us tonight. Manuel, thanks.